Hello there. Uh, we recently put a, a blog post up at the, the new blog DIY Science that myself and my colleague are putting together with just little fun science projects we do. Um, uh, we mentioned the, the, the wine glass holograms that my colleague Jeff makes for, for a bit of a laugh uh, using a, a formulation not entirely unlike the, the kind you use for a, a flat plate hologram. And it occurred to me, well, a million words won't really show you what we're describing here as well as just to look at one of these glasses. As you see, it's a wine glass, it's a slightly dirty wine glass with chemical coatings. Uh, effectively, rather than putting a, a gelatin film on a, on a sheet of glass and then dipping that in a whole sequence of bowls with different, different agents to make it work with some silver and some, some chloride, uh, the, the glass itself acts as the bowl to, to contain those solutions and the coating is done uh, quite simply, uh, like on a glass plate, only bit more fiddly. Uh, there's no reason why you can't shoot a hologram on a, on a curved surface or a complex surface. You just need the features to be bigger than the wavelength of light, a lot bigger than the wavelength of light. What you want is transmission and very little scatter. And then you've got effectively a way of making a hologram in any of these surfaces. This is wine glass, this is a horse. Very nice, very easy, very simple. Uh, we've a bunch of these, we've done coins, we've done horses. The little grumpy face, I think it's another horse actually, it's even brighter at this angle. Um, obviously, shoot them at different angles, you get the, the peak reflection at different points. If I move further away from the spot of light and get this at the right angle, it'll look slightly clearer. If I look at it from the back of the horse, I'll see the horse inside out on the other side of the glass. If I look inside the glass, I will see nothing, because of course this was shot by having a figurine of a horse held inside the glass, and we record the light that goes through, hits the glass, comes back and hits it again. A single beam holographic technique for shooting a hologram on this functionalized surface. So yes, this can work on a bit of glass, it can work on a on a on a on a glass itself, on a drinking vessel. What I'd say is don't drink in it, don't drink from it, because uh, this is a soft gelatin film and you'll very, very quickly be drinking the hologram. If I give it a good hoik and breath and steam it up, it'll go red because of course we've just filled it with water. Uh, I would expect in prolonged storage of keeping this in light, it will become a little bit unstable, it'll quite quickly break down. So yeah, this is for show only, it's for fun only, it's not for drinking out of. It may be possible to change this formulation to make something which would work in a commercial application, uh, but there are many hours of man work going to these and, and, and you know, we've looked at this and you, you couldn't make these to sell. So, okay, this is our glass holograms. I'll put a link to the method for making these in the description below. Uh, if you like this, then please feel free to shout with other hologram enthusiasts or anybody who's a bit of a nerd like us. Uh, thank you very much.